Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Fall Guys error code 200 underscore 1040 Epic Games account error. Session expired. Please restart your game. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to close out of your game completely and then relaunch it. And then hopefully that would resolve the problem. Something else you can try here as well. If you open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevator command line window, type in IP config, followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Check it back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen. And hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Close out of here, and you want to restart your computer at this time. Now that we're back into Windows, hopefully the problem has been resolved. However, if you're still having a problem, we can check the Epic Games servers to see if they are down. If they're down, it means you're not going to be able to connect to their servers, obviously. You may want to check their social media accounts as well, see if anyone else is reporting an outage. So we're going to go ahead and paste in a link I'm going to have in the description of the video to Epic Games servers status checker. So this is on epicgames.com and I'll tell you if there's any reported issues. Please keep in mind that it may take some time for this web page to update after an outage. It might not happen immediately. So check back a few minutes later and see if maybe it says operational right now, but it might not be operational five or 10 minutes from now. It just takes a little bit of time to update sometimes. So pretty straightforward process on that. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.